Before I show you how you can print your document, let's go over the print preview feature because what you see in there is what's going to be coming out of your printer. So you want to take a look at that first because if you don't like it, you don't want to hit the print button and waste all that paper. And the print preview can be accessed one of a couple of ways. You can either use the shortcut keys by holding down the control key and hitting F2 on the keyboard. It takes you backstage to the print preview, well, where you can also print, but we want to take a look at this first. Or let me hit the back arrow and click on File to go backstage again, and then down to Print, and there you go, Print Preview. So it gives you a layout view of the first page in your document. Out of how many pages? Well, there you go, we got a total of three that I can go ahead and click to go to the next page. And again, just take a look at the layout to make sure that I don't have any abnormal spacing between my paragraphs or things that aren't placed right, where I don't have my page numbers, which I know you can't even read. But you can go ahead and zoom in on it, to make sure that that's not just a little blob there, that a character you put by accident, that that is actually a page number. You can go ahead and click and drag the slider bar over, and then scroll down and over to see it. Yep, that's a page number. And you can, of course, go ahead and click and drag to slide it back out, or just come over here and click on Zoom to Page, and it takes us right back to where we started, the complete page view. And then if you want to get back to page one, well, if you had 100 pages, you don't want to sit here and click, 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 click to get back to it. Instead, go ahead and click inside the box, type in a number, hit enter, takes you right to that page number. And then if you want to get a little bit particular with how you want to zoom in to your page, not just use the slider because, boy, if I don't get it right, it kind of jumps around, then go ahead and click on the zoom dialog box, which it doesn't tell you that that's what it is, but just click on the percentage, whatever it is. When you click on it, then it opens up the Zoom dialog box, and you can go ahead and choose what you'd like, like, ooh, 75%. Click okie dokie. I'm going to go back to the Zoom to page. And then if everything looks good here, go ahead and print your document. If not, this is a non-editing area. You can't come in here and click and make changes to it, so you have to click the back arrow, go back to the front stage, make your changes, then verify that they've been updated before you go ahead and click print. So if everything looks good, then before you click on the print button, Let's go down here to make sure we're printing to the right printer. Go ahead and click on the drop down arrow, choose your printer, and well, how many copies do you want? We'll just leave it as one. And then down below the settings, you can go ahead and click and select, well, the default's all pages, but you do get the option to print the selection. Because I don't have anything selected, it doesn't give me that option. You can print the current page, do a custom print. Well, let me click off and click back and select some text and say that I just want to print that selection. Then I can do Control F2 or click on the File tab, come down here and select Print, but the shortcut keys zip me right to it. Once I have it selected, I can go ahead and click on Print All Pages. Hey, and there it is. It now allows me to select Print Selection because I have something selected in my document. And we can go ahead and click and do a custom print if I want to get a specific page, range, or sections. When I choose that, it dumps me right down into the page box here. And when you hover over it, it gives you some examples of what you need to enter in there to get the pages that you want or the sections. And you can see down at the bottom, you can type in 1 for page 1. And if you want to skip 2, then go comma, type in 3. And then if you want to do, like let's say we had 200 pages, we want to print page 1, 3, and maybe 5 through 20, and then we can go comma, maybe on page, we'll type in P25, and the reason why I'm typing in P25 is because I want to be able to add the S after it, so that's page 25, S is for section, and we can do 1. And let me go ahead and hover back over it again, you can see the example, that's how you do it. The page number, and then S for section, and the section number, and if you want to go like page 1 through page 8 and the sections, well, you can see down there, page 1, section 3 through page 8, section 3. Now, what is a section? We'll talk about that in a later training video. And what you'll be able to do is to take a page and section it off, as many sections as you want. And what that does is that you can actually control the layout for that section. Like if I wrote this off and say, okay, this top part is section 1, this bottom part is section 2, you can actually change the layout above or in section 1 to be two columns without affecting the section below. Pretty cool. Okay, I expect to see you watching that training video. And then after, if you want to go ahead and not do that, but just print all pages, delete it, goes back to print all pages. 
You can print one-sided or go ahead and if you got the option on your printer to print on both sides, fabu. Let me click off. And then you can do collation. The default is, is that if you want to print off 10 copies by typing in 10, it'll print, well, you got three pages, one, two, three, and then the second copy will be one, two, three, then the third copy, one, two, three, as opposed to, well, 10 of the first page, then 10 of the second, then 10 of the three. And so they're not organized together. If I didn't want that, then I'd choose uncollated, which is uncool for me because I like it collated, so I'm glad that that's the default. You can change the uh, paper size, defaults the letter, then the margins, they're normal. You can choose other margins because sometimes if the margins are so small that your printer can't handle them, that it starts cutting it off, you may want to choose something that's a bit larger. The default typically is one by one by one for the top left, right, and bottom, the one inch margins. But you can try to push the printer's envelope and get something that's smaller. You can also do a custom setting. And I'll go over margins in more detail in a later training video. Then click off. And then you got the default page one per sheet, or you can do two pages per sheet, which if I do that, uh, well, that's going to shrink the text and nobody will be able to read it, so that's not cool. Let's go back to one sheet. And then finally you can click on it and you can scale to paper size. And then if everything looks grisly, then go ahead and click on the print button and away you go. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.